Hey guys, and welcome back. We are picking up uh, where Judge Jephthah and Judge Abdon uh, passed away in the last chapter. So that is where we're picking up, and we're on verse 1 of 13. Now the sons of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord, so that the Lord gave them into the hands of the Philistines forty years. There was a certain man of Zorah, of the family of the Danites, whose name was uh, Manoah, and his wife was barren and had borne no children. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold now, you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and give birth to a son. Now therefore, be careful not to drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. For behold, you shall conceive and give birth to a son, and no razor shall come upon his head. For the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like the appearance of the angel of God. Very awesome. The Hebrew is actually closer to uh, meaning very revering, um, as in being in awe almost to the point of fear. But very awesome works for me as well. <laughs> uh, back to the middle of verse 6. And I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, Behold, you shall conceive and give birth to a son, and now you shall not drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. For the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. And if you missed it, we discussed the meaning of the Nazarite vow back in Numbers chapter 6, if you want to uh, a refresher on that. Then Manoah entreated the Lord and said, O Lord, please let the man of God whom you have sent come to us again, that he may teach us what to do for the boy who is to be born. God listened to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again to the woman as she was sitting in the field. But Manoah, her husband, was not with her. So the woman ran quickly and told her husband, Behold, the man who came the other day has appeared to me. Then Manoah arose and followed his wife. And when he came to the man, he said to him, Are you the man who spoke to the woman? And he said, I am. Manoah said, Now when your words come to pass, what shall be the boy's mode of life and his vocation? So the angel of the Lord said to Manoah, Let the woman pay attention to all that I said. She should not eat anything that comes from the vine, nor drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. Let her observe all that I commanded. Then Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, Please let us detain you so that we may prepare a young goat for you. The angel of the Lord said to Manoah, Though you detain me, I will not eat your food. But if you prepare a burnt offering, then offer it to the Lord. For Manoah did not know that he was the angel of the Lord. So this is another theophany of God himself here. Verse 17, Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, what is your name, so that when your words come to pass, we may honor you? But the angel of the Lord said to him, Why do you ask my name, seeing it is wonderful? So Manoah took the young goat with the grain offering and offered it on the rock to the Lord. And he performed wonders while Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came about when the flame went up from the altar toward heaven, that the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar. When Manoah and his wife saw this, they fell on their faces to the ground. Now the angel of the Lord did not appear to Manoah or his wife again. Then Manoah knew that he was the angel of the Lord. So Manoah said to his wife, We will surely die, for we have seen God. But his wife said to him, If the Lord had desired to kill us, he would not have accepted a burnt offering and a grain offering from our hands, nor would he have shown us all these things, nor would he have let us hear things like this at this time. Then the woman gave birth to a son and named him Samson. And the child grew up, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him in Mahanedan, between Zorah and Eshtael. So in the Old Testament, many people did die in front of God's presence on account of their sin, and would be in sheer terror before him because of their sinful state. Uh, two perfect verses for those of us to, alive today in the new covenant with Christ are found in Romans chapter 8, verses 1 and 15, which state, 
Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. In verse 15, The spirit you received does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. So, with Christ and the resurrection, uh, we now have the opportunity to receive the Holy Spirit and sonship uh, with the Lord, which, looking back, going through the Old Testament here, is uh, just an amazing wonder and something we should be grateful for every day. And thank you guys. I'm grateful for everyone here, and have a wonderful day. Take care.